got to talk about this guy. I know you've gushed about him, Z. I'd even go so far as to say that he's your number two overall. So what's the scoop on this Ivan Demidov guy? I, Demidov is insane and like was very curious to see because he got hurt right at the beginning of the season. Like he's been torching the Russian U20 league for like three years. Like it was like a 15 and 16 year old. He was like over a point per game on a very good ska 46 team. They've got like 11 teams. It's very funny. Um, but in terms of like upside, some of the highest upside of any player we've seen drafted in the last few years, like he would have been a top five player in any of the last three, four drafts. Um, I mean, even beyond like he can do legitimately everything offensively defensively. It's like he somehow also manages to like be quite effective, like especially on the rush, but even like in zone, he's not necessarily going to get dragged out or whatever, but like that's, you're not even really thinking about the defensive side of the game with him. Anyways, the shit he's in, some of the plays that he makes and there's, I don't know how he does it, but there's one specific thing I probably see him do seven eight nine times a game and it's very like small thing but like his ability to the puck will get like rimmed around the offensive zone and he's gonna come pick it up his ability to pick it up in motion pivot on his feet and like just dice through three guys and either get a shot off for himself or just like beat every defenseman and then put a uh, backdoor tap it on someone's tape like he does it every fucking game like the footwork is unbelievable. His ability to like change direction on a dime is it's a joke, and you can't take the puck away from him. He is unbelievable. So, like for me, he's two. Like he's number two for me. Like I, I, I fucking love Ivan Demidov. And right now, I think he's on a like a streak of like four points, five points, six points, five points. Like he is legitimately averaging, I think, over three points a game right now in the last like ten or twelve games. Like he's better than everybody he should be playing in the khl like the beginning of the year he got a few games and more than fit in and there were a few times where before um that dickhead coach for ska absolute dickhead uh there were a few games where like we were receiving five six minutes of demidov with mitchkov and who's nadinov it was legitimately so i was just glued to the screen and i might have to go like rewatch some of those shifts because it was gorgeous <laughs> Um, but he's unbelievable, like insane. He's he's like close to the like Celebrini ceiling. So um, well, I'm a huge fan. I don't think teams will be afraid to take him high oh, at all. Okay. I well, think I don't really think there's going to be a whole lot of Russians that have the same like that make as many teams nervous as they were for Mitchkov. Like Mitchkov had the, the whole length of the contract, or well, yeah, Mitchkov had that working against him. He also, before the draft, didn't sound like he was going to talk to Eddie Tees, which is what a rock star move, by the way. He's like, nah, I'm not fucking talking to you. And then, like, Philly ended up, like, getting him to meet them at, like, a fucking, like, a junior hockey rink, <laughs> which is very funny. Um, but, like, Mitchkov had the whole contract thing, but he also was, like, a five foot eight right wing, very much predicated on, like, super high-octane offense only. Um and I mean, like, even in his draft year, there were some plays that you're like, oh, OK, that's not going to work. Uh, defensively, it was like kind of like a nightmare at times. So, like there were some mitigating factors there along with the contract. Like, sure. Demodov doesn't have the contract issue. He does. He's a very different player with like similar highlight real type projection. Like he is unbelievable. But like, I don't think there's many players are going to have the same kind of like risk factor as a lot of teams saw with Mitchkov. So um he, so, he okay, is that, fucking unbelievable but that being what it is then like take away whatever happened last year whatever's going on now in a vacuum which player do you want if the wild can have either player in their system do you want them or do you want mitch Gav? yeah i mean i still think you probably go with the ceiling so you probably still go with mitch Gav, knowing that there might be more risk factors but the reward still if they both hit like mitch Gav's going to be the like 40 50 goal scoring 100 point player like in the nhl demidov he could he could put up 80 90 points in the nhl for sure uh mitchkov's just 
I think the the ceiling's still a little bit higher. So I think you still go for the uh, the potential there if you're just gonna like make me choose one or the other. Fair. Okay. Now I gotta ask last thing then on Demidov. I know you don't expect there to be the same like hesitation for all the reasons you just outlined, like there was with Mitchkov this year. What's a number for him to be drafted where like you're offended at that point or pissed off or shocked? Like what's the lowest you can see him dropping? Reasonably. Probably like the Mitchkov range, like seven, probably. Like okay, but that wouldn't be outrageous to you. I think I would sit there and be like Okay, I guess I was wrong about teams being worried about like drafting Russians. Like it's the only explanation for him to be drafted below like five. Okay. Cause like you can make arguments for other players above it. Like for me, he's two, but like I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're an idiot if you have him at three. Like I'm not I'm not that guy. But like I do think if he goes after five, I'm sitting there like, what the fuck am I not seeing? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, he's absolutely one of the top three, four players in this draft, no question. Um, but okay. then again, he is he is in a six foot seven, two hundred and twenty pound, like high scoring defenseman in Russia. So like, fuck me, I guess. Mister Salayev, yes. All right, fair enough. 